So I'm going to help you analyze the tangent in about two minutes. So let's go straight to analyze the tangent function. So I am going to sketch, you are going to give me the values from tangent and then I will sketch the graph so that we can all be on the same page. So let's get the values in. What is negative tangent of uh, 45? One. Positive one or minus one? Positive one. Did you do negative tangent 45? Yes. Okay, positive one. How about zero? I got 0 0.70. Uh, Cindy, did you check again? Yeah, check, check again. Check again. Everybody check again. Tangent of uh, negative 45. I got a negative one. Negative one. That, that looks like correct. Negative one looks like correct. But let me verify. This one, we have to be accurate on, this, on these ones. We have to be accurate. So let me put on the calculator. So now here's what you do. Uh, you make sure you are on degree mode. I hope you are. So this one is on degree mode. You see degree is highlighted. Okay, so then we clear and then we type tangent. Here's your tangent right here. Tangent and then negative. You have to put negative. You press 45. You close the parenthesis and you hit enter. Boom. That's negative one. You see, it's negative one. So I'm going to minimize this and get back to the screen. So it's negative one. So now give me the rest of the values. Tangent of zero is what? Zero. Tangent of 45 is what? One. one. Positive one. How about 90? Undefined. OK, so just write. You either write UDF or you just leave it blank. That means blank means it, it doesn't mean zero. It doesn't mean any number. It means there is no number there. That's what undefined means. So uh, how about 135? Negative one. Negative one and 180? Zero. Uh, 225? One. And 270? Undefined. Okay, UDF again. And uh, 315? Negative one. Negative one and 360? Zero. Okay, 360 is zero. How about uh, three, uh, 405? One. 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 Okay, so let's go to and do negative, just add, ne do negative 90 now. Let's add it as one of our data values. So uh, negative 90, just do it separately. Negative 90 tangent of negative 90 degrees. What did you get? Tangent, negative, negative 90, close the parenthesis, hit enter. This one is also undefined, okay? So negative 90 is undefined. So now the next thing we are going to do, which is the last aspect of our work today would be, we are going to sketch this value. So, we are going to sketch it. So I'm just going to draw a straight line vertically and then another line horizontally. Uh, that will constitute my X axis and Y axis. So this is my X axis and this one is my Y axis. So I can have numbers like one, two, negative one here and negative two here. So this is my uh, 45, 90, um, 135, 180, 225, uh, 270, 315, and 360. Right here, 360. Okay. So now you can see on the y axis, which is uh, where you have tangent of theta, this one x axis is your theta. So the whole thing is ending either it is zero or one, positive or negative. So let's start. Tangent of negative 45, this is our 45 here, 90, um, 135. Use this to verify what you plotted. 135, 180, 225, 270, 315, and uh, 360. So this is negative 45, negative 90, undefined. What's going on? 
All right, so let's go. Um, when uh, when theta is negative 45, we have negative one. So this is negative one somewhere here, right here. At zero, you have zero. So zero is zero here. 45 is one. One is somewhere here. So these are one. This this line helps us to get one. And then this line helps us to get negative one. Okay. Now at 90, 90 is undefined. So there's nothing to plot. 135 is negative one. So somewhere here. 180 is zero. Somewhere here. 225 is one, which is somewhere here. 370 is undefined. Nothing to plot. Uh, 315 is negative one somewhere here and um 360 360 is zero somewhere here so what is um 405 405 is one somewhere here okay so you can see you can see that the line the line goes like this the line goes somewhere like this and then another one goes somewhere like this and then another one goes somewhere like this. If you increase the value, you know, the value of the angles in between, you will see, you get these values. So now all those places where they are undefined, there is nothing to plot. So which means the line truncated. On the other hand, you can either represent it the way I just did, or you can represent it this way. Here's another alternative way of representing the same thing. You, you can do something like this. You know, just focusing on that block. Can you all see this? You can see what I just did. This is like a pulse, the pulse of uh, your heartbeat. It is either one or zero. One or zero. One, you know, it's like a binary number. Hello, guys. Is yes. that how your graph looks like as well when you plotted it before we did? Yes. Okay. So that's how that's that's the how the function behaves. This is real. This is real. As a matter of fact, if you go to hospital and see some of those devices that they use to monitor patients, you will see that it, it plots some graphs. It will create data values and it will also plot some graphs. Something like oscilloscope. There's one that is called oscilloscope. There are other devices in, that are used in medical profession. I don't even know all of their names but they do plot graphs. So those graphs are interpreted to help the scientists to analyze something. And uh, mathematically, we have, uh, we, ha we have tried to see how we can replicate, how we can create those things manually. That's what we just did. And that's what the curriculum say we should do.